All right, I'm on the phone with Coach Craig Dagan from the Maine Maritime Women's Academy basketball team. And, Coach, congratulations. A nice victory last night to start off uh, conference play. Yeah, thank you. I thought we did a pretty good job. Our uh, <clears throat> um, our offensive execution was probably the best it's been all year, and and uh, we still got a long ways to go on the defensive end of the floor. But uh, good step in the right direction, and certainly the kids responded well after, uh, which was probably uh, a not so good performance against uh, St. Joe's before Thanksgiving break. So I'm happy with the way the kids responded, and they played hard, they played well, and. Uh, we just got to clean some things up and, and get better in preparation for this weekend against Hudson. Well, yeah. Now, so that's a, a, obviously a, a in-state rival, probably your your closest rival, and uh, you've got a game on Saturday, December fifth at three. Uh, I'm sorry, yeah, at one o'clock at at uh, at Hudson, and that that's a tough environment to play at. It is. It'll be a good test not only for our young kids, but just to see where we're at right now uh, in regards to our progress. And, uh, you know, we certainly have the, the talent, and, and we certainly just got to get better at our execution. And as I said, offensively, we, we've done a pretty good job this year. And uh, last night, even when we weren't making shots, our execution was, was really good. And uh, you know, the big thing that turned the game around, it was, it was a pretty close game early on in the first quarter. And in the second quarter, the pressure that we were able to put on them uh, defensively uh, translated into a lot of uh, transition points for us. And that's the way we got to play, and that's the way we need to play in order to be successful this weekend. Huston is a, a quick, fast team. They play a lot of guards. They're pretty much guard-orientated with one post player. Um, and we've got to be able to defend the perimeter well this weekend, and that's probably where we've struggled the most. Um, is our half court uh, defense not only the perimeter, but even our post defense has got to get better. So I'm happy, like I said, with our execution on the offensive end of the floor. But in order for us to take the next step, our defensive execution has to be better, and it certainly will be tested this weekend. Really going to jump out because they they like to hit those threes, and you know you get that Chandler Garrett from uh, from Presque Isle, and she she can be lights out from the three area. No doubt, and they, they, they have a lot of people. They've got a good freshman class, and the Worcester kid from uh, from up in the county area is, is a good little player from Washburn, and uh, she's got off to a really good start in her first couple games for Hudson, and Chandler does a great job of of uh, just penetrating, pitching, making open shots, but you know Chandler's at her best when she's attacking the rim, and you know we're going to have a lot of young kids defending the perimeter, and you know I... I We'll be okay if technically we do the right things, um, <laughs> but it's just a matter of us uh, being connected on the floor. And that's the one thing that we keep talking about or we've talked about a lot this week in preparation for not only last night but this weekend, and we've got two more conference games coming up, is we just get to need to be more connected on the floor, sharing the ball on offense, making the extra pass, but even on the defensive end, helping and, and communicating, and if we communicate and help each other, uh, we can be pretty good defensively. You got pretty good offensive uh, output last night. Christy Willie with a uh, career high 17 points, and then Elaine Felix and uh, Megan McLean each with 13 points. Yeah, I mean, they did a good job. Elaine's been steady for us in the first four games. I mean, for a freshman, she's averaging 17 points and almost eight rebounds a game. She's done a really good job for us, and you know our our uh, the conversations that we've had internally leading up to the, these games and and going into last night was just becoming more balanced and and Christy has to and you know the once again talking with her she had to do more for us she got off to a slow start in the first three games and was putting a lot of pressure on herself uh, and uh, I think last night she was just far more relaxed and not only 17 points which as you said it was a season high for her but. She rebounded the ball well. She defended the ball well. Had six steals, six rebounds, a couple assists. She did a lot of really uh, did a lot of good things for us. And in order for us to be successful, Chris is the the one kid on our team that's capable of of doing a little bit of everything. And on some nights she can score. She's a a really solid defender. And um, when she's relaxed and having fun, she's somebody that's capable of of uh, doing a lot of good things for this team. And it was nice to see her get on get back on track and get a little bit of confidence last night going into the weekend. And, and as, I, as you said, the two freshmen did a great job, and they're two really solid players that are going to have a 
not only a good year for us, but they've got bright futures here as well. And then uh, after the Hussa game, you've got a game at home against Daniel Webster uh, a week from uh, yesterday on the uh, on the eighth. Yep, we have uh, after Hussa, we've got three games to finish the semester at home. We we have a non-conference game against Daniel Webster, and uh, they've got a local kid from Old Town uh, that's playing really good for them. Uh, last, I believe it's Ashley England playing really, really good oh, basketball sure, yeah. for them. And uh, then we finish the finish the schedule with with two conference games against Colby Sawyer and England College. So this is an important stretch for us. I mean, we've got three conference games coming up with three teams that, if we're going to compete for a championship this year, these are three teams that we have to go through. Uh, and it's three uh, three teams that we're capable of winning as long as we we do things the right way and and continue to progress collectively as a team. And I'm excited to see where we're at in the next week. Just to you know, like I said, going into the Christmas break, figuring out what we need to get better at, and and uh, I'm excited to see how our, our young kids respond to the challenges coming up here against three really good teams. Health-wise, everybody's in good shape. Yeah, we're doing great. <laughs> and, uh, we actually got a uh, last night. We, we got a young lady back, Lauren Laskowski, a post player who's been fighting injuries for two years and three major knee surgeries, oh. and actually was able to get back on the floor last night and play about ten minutes and give us some productive minutes and big strong kid and and is gonna you know gonna provide some depth at the post spot but one thing that we lack there right now is toughness and uh she's a tough kid and and uh we're excited to have her back on the floor and everybody else is is doing really well so uh we're in a good place right now we're we're healthy uh we're growing up as a basketball team and uh uh, like I said last night, hopefully is a step in the right direction as far as us getting connected on the floor on both ends. All right, good luck against uh, Husson on Saturday and against Daniel Webster on Tuesday, and we look forward to chatting with you next Wednesday. Sounds good, Chris. Thank you, and have a great week. You too.